Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing and a complete overview of the brand new DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This technological marvel is a combination of a high quality camera with a three axis stabilized gimbal in a product that's small enough to fit in your pocket. Now think about that a second. A stabilized gimbal is a really important piece of photography gear that bolts onto your DSLR camera and will stabilize the footage when you're out in the field and moving around. They're smart enough to sort of understand gyroscopic movements. They've got sensors inside the unit that will counteract or counterbalance all the movements you're making to keep that footage incredibly stable. And they've been out for years. Matter of fact, DJI has an entire line of Ronin products like this one where you can bolt your DSLR on the top of it and it'll stabilize that footage and give you buttery smooth footage. Then, as cell phones got better with their cameras, people started thinking, gee, I wish I had a stabilized gimbal for my phone, and that's when DJI came out with the Osmo Mobile. So this one takes your cell phone, you snap it at the top of it, you can use the camera in the cell phone, and you can walk around and it'll stabilize the footage for you, and it's a great solution. But the challenge is, both of these are kind of big. So DJI came out with an Osmo product a bunch of years ago that combined the camera and the stabilized gimbal but again, it was gigantic. And I've used this since the day it was released. I love this product. But think about this. They've gone from this to a product that slides into your pocket in three generations. So what you're getting here is the third generation of the Osmo product that combines a 4K camera that can record up to 60 frames a second, actually in slow-mo can go to 120 frames a second, into a package that'll run for 166 minutes on a full charge and record 4K footage that's unbelievably smooth and beautiful. So I'm gonna unbox this product. Now, I've had people say to me, Rick, what are you doing unboxings for? Nobody wants unboxings anymore. And then other people say to me, Rick, we love your unboxings. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to any of you. I want to tear this open in front of you because I love technology. Anytime new technology like this comes out, I just can't wait to get my hands on it, take it out and start testing it and filming with it. And I use both of these products on a regular basis. I had this one on vacation a couple of weeks ago. We had a birthday party last weekend. I was using this particular product with my cell phone. This one to me is the best of both worlds because it gives me an integrated solution that is a beautiful camera on a stabilized gimbal in a really small package that I can bring along to a birthday party or a performance at the school and I can hold it up and not take up a lot of space. And what they've done with the Osmo Pocket 3 has really improved most of the features that you cared about on the Osmo Pocket 2 Namely, they've increased the sensor size. So the new unit's got a one inch sensor. It also has a two inch rotatable display, which is my biggest beef with the Osmo Pocket 2 is that the display was so small. You get old like me, you gotta put your glasses on to see what's going on. With this two inch display, I've got a really big display that I can flip horizontally or vertically to shoot in landscape mode or in portrait mode if I'm gonna be putting TikTok videos together. So it's a beautiful unit. The other thing they've improved with this, and I'm getting ahead of myself, is the charging capability. So there's a battery inside here that's 1300 milliampere hours that provides 166 minutes of recording capabilities to an internal SD card, but the best part is it's fast charging, which means in about 15 minutes, I can get it up to 80% of the battery capacity, which is phenomenal. So I can charge it out in the field. Now enough talking. I want to get into the unboxing. Let me get some of these guys out of the way because I know what's going to happen. As soon as I open it, I'm going to get real excited and start swinging my arms and knocking stuff off the table. All right, so here's the unit. Now, I haven't opened it yet. It's still shrink-wrapped, but I'm telling you, when I, when I saw the announcement for this, I started salivating because I use the Osmo, Osmo Pocket 1 and the Osmo Pocket 2 almost every day. I'm out in the field. I'm filming things. I've got it with me. I'm holding it. I've got it on a tripod. It's got tracking abilities to follow me around when I'm moving, so it's the perfect companion for filming out in the field, especially if you're heading out on vacation. Boy, you can get some great footage with the Osmo Pocket products, but the Osmo Pocket 3 again, takes it to the next level. And you have to remember, DJI was a groundbreaker here. When they came out with the original Osmo, nobody did that at that point. DJI was the first one to say, we're a big imaging company. We already understand stabilized gimbals from all the drones we've built and the technology behind that. Wouldn't it be cool if we can combine the two into a product that you can carry around with you? So essentially, a DSLR with a stabilized gimbal integrated with that camera, and that was the original Osmo. When they came out with the original Pocket, I remember, I remember the launch event, I couldn't believe it. Like I saw the briefings early because I was part of the NDA release for that one, and I saw the briefing documents and I went, they must be wrong with these measurements. There's no way they're gonna take that Osmo and shrink it down into the size of an Osmo Pocket, but they did it. 
And then they came out with the Pocket 2. And here's the Pocket 3. So enough talking. Let me get the box open. Because boy, am I excited. As much as I love drones, a product like this just gets me really excited. All right, so let me open this up with my beautiful slice tool here. Get this, get this cellophane off here. And let's get inside and see what's going on. Now, I do have the uh, combo, the creator combo, which is one of the packages you can get this product in. So they sell it, or they offer it, I should say, as just the camera with less accessories, or you can get it like this with a bunch of extra accessories. Now, I'll probably talk about that later, but the accessories are important because the basic camera has three microphones in it, which does a great job of recording stereo, and it's got noise canceling capabilities in it, so you can use it just as itself, but you can also get it with a base that snaps on that does a whole lot of other things. It has a wireless microphone. Matter of fact, with this one, you can pair two of the DJI wireless mic twos to the unit at the same time. So if you set it up on a tripod and you're doing some type of interview, you can have two microphones recording to it at the same time. This one comes with one external wireless microphone, so I'll test all that stuff out later. All right, let me get rid of that. Let me get inside here. I just love tearing open new packages. All right, first thing I'm noticing, desiccant. Make sure you throw the desiccant out. That is extremely dangerous stuff. You don't want to leave it around the house because it kind of looks like a salt or a sugar packet and you don't want people putting that in their coffee. So make sure you chuck that. All right, so in here, nice little case. There we go. A whole lot of manuals, which are always good. I always recommend reading through the manuals because there's information in here that you may figure out on your own, but I promise you it's going to take you a long time to figure out all the features and functions inside the unit. So read through there. So you've got a quick start guide. You've got a light cut uh, QR code right there. Now light cut is a software package that you can download to use for editing your footage and stuff. It's a really nice package. There's some warranty information, and then there's a creator combo uh, instruction manual. So it talks about some of the features and functions inside the unit. Uh oh, there's another box in there. <laughs> wonder what's in that. I'll have to get into that. Now, before I look at the camera, because I'm going to lose my mind the minute I get my hands on the camera, let me just let that sit there for a second. Let's see what's in this box. This looks pretty interesting. So I'll pop open the end of the box. And what do we got in here? Come on, let's go. Everybody jump out of here. All right. So inside here, we've got, oh, that's nice. That's the case. That's pretty much it. Boy, that's a pretty big box just for the case. But all right, there's the case. Do I need this? No, I don't need this. Let me get rid of that. So let me peel this open. Now, everybody's gone to these new high-performance bags, which are a little tricky to open. But anyway, there's the bag. That's open. Instruction manual on how to hold it. Now, this case is important as well because if you're going to slide it in your pocket, you could just slide that in your pocket without the case, but you're going to get you know gunk on the lens and everything else. So you want to make sure you put it in the case. The case also has a place up here where you can put a wrist strap on it if you want to hang on to it that way, or just slide it in your pocket or your bag. I think that's great. So the case is somewhat flexible, but it's hard as well. So it's going to protect your camera very, very well wherever you're taking it with you. And again, this is a product you're going to want to have with you every time you leave the house, because you never know when you're going to be driving along and there's a beautiful sunset you want to record, or maybe you're out in the woods and there runs Sasquatch in front of you. You got your camera. You can get a shot of Sasquatch. So make sure you take it with you when you leave the house. All right, so let's get in here. <laughs> oh boy, there's a nice case. All right, so it comes with the creator combo in a really nice case to hold everything. And I'm a huge fan of cases because it, number one, it protects the product. Number two, it organizes the product, which I can't stress enough because so many times, whether it be a drone or a camera like this, you get out on site, and you realize, geez, I forgot the base. Why'd you forget the base? Because it isn't in a case and you left it home and you tried to gather everything up and ran out in the field and forgot some of the stuff. So having a case to organize things is really important. And it's got a nice DJI logo on the side, little strap here where you can hang it off your backpack or just take it with you. And then it's got a zipper down the center and we'll open it up that way. And it kind of opens, it opens like a little bit of an accordion there. Look at that, it opens right up. <laughs> There's the camera. <laughs> All right, just give me a second here. I got to get, I got to calm down because I'm getting pretty excited. Let me pull some of the accessories out before I pull the camera out because I know once I see that camera, I'm just going to be lost in thought there for a couple of seconds. All right, boy, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's little pouches to off either side where they got, oh, there's more desiccant. Make sure you get rid of the desiccant. Again, throw that out. All right, so there's the camera. Boy, there's so many little attachments inside here. And I'll take a look at all of these. And what's that? Oh, that's a tripod. All right, and then there's the camera. I'm not going to look at the camera. I'm going to avert my eyes. But let me open up the tripod first. So this is kind of cool. It's a collapsible tripod, and it can be used on the bottom of the camera because a lot of times you're going to use this camera. My gosh, are these bags difficult to open? Anyway, <laughs> you're going to be using the tripod a lot because if you're using this for like vlogs or you're going to use it to record yourself or maybe you're you're there with your loved one on vacation and you want to set the camera up on a rock or something so you can capture the footage behind you look 
at that nice little tripod. It's got the DJI logo on the side, folds up nice and small, so it gets the job done. All right, so there's the charging cable right here, which is a USB-C to USB-C. I'm going to bet that's about, I don't know, I'm going to say a foot. Let me open it. Yeah, it's about a foot long. So it's not gigantic. You're not going to be able to reach a wall outlet with it. But if you've got a charger on the desk, you can plug it into the charger. The cool thing is you can use any USB-C charger you want, and you can use any USB-C cable you want as well. So if you've got a longer cable, no problem. There's no proprietary connections here. All right, so let's see what else we got. Here's the base for it. Now, this base... Uh, just clips on. It's just a way to charge it. So it's a charging base that has a USB-C connection on the back of it. That's how you charge it. Good on you, DJI, for moving to the USB-C connection because a lot of the products are still using the micro USB connections, which is so old school. It's like 1960s technology. The USB-C provides power delivery or PD charging, which is the fast charging feature that this product has, which again, allows you to charge it a lot quicker than you can with a standard five volt charger. So that's the basic base that snaps on the bottom of the unit. But this is the one that I'm really interested in. This is the advanced base. And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing the name of that, but this base allows you to integrate the microphone, which is this. So once you pop this base on, it has a little bit more capacity down here. It still has a USB-C in the back that you can charge it through. But when you snap the camera in the top of this, you'll not only charge the base, you'll charge the battery inside the camera, and you've got wireless connection to the microphone. Boy, is that a cool feature. Because if you've got this on a selfie stick or you've got it sitting on a rock or on the tripod, just imagine looking at the camera, you got the microphone on your lapel, you're doing your thing, you're talking, you're getting a beautiful audio quality sent there wirelessly. All right, so what else do we got? Let's take a look inside this bag. Boy, there's still a lot of accessories here. All right, so inside this bag, I've got a dead cat, which is nice, and that snaps on the microphone. I'm sure that snaps on the microphone. Again, I'm about to play with this. I'm opening the thing for the first time, so don't, don't yell at me and say, Rick, how could you not know that that thing snapped onto whatever? I'll take a look at that, and I'll do a follow-up. And then there's a wrist strap here, too, so that's good because, believe me, this unit is not an action camera. Let me state that out of the gate. There is an Ozo action that'll, that'll work great for you. I've got a bunch of those, and they're, they're wonderful for snowy, wet conditions, or if you're skin diving, or whatever you're doing, that's an action camera. This is a stabilized gimbal. So it's a little bit more fragile than an action camera. You can't take this thing and dive under the water with it. You can't take it and bang it around out there in the field. You gotta be a little bit careful with it and you don't wanna drop it. That's the one key thing. So a wrist strap to me is extremely important when you're out there in the field because if you're on vacation, you're having a good time, you're not paying attention, boop, you drop the unit, heads for the ground, crack the lens and you're out of luck. So use that, uh, use that wrist strap with it. All right, so that's pretty much it for those things. What else have we got here? A couple of attachments it looks like for the microphone. These are going to be impossible to open. I can promise you it's going to be 15 minutes trying to get this bag open. But just let me see what I can do here to find the end of the thing and then get the thing open here. All right, it's not going to happen. All right, so there's a lens. It's probably a wide-angle lens. And this looks like a magnet. So I'll open those later and talk about it. I really want to get a look at this camera because I've seen pictures and I've seen the specifications, but I haven't got my hands on it. So here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that display. Look at that display. Look how big that display is. And it's got a beautiful one inch camera. Now, oh man, it's a little bit larger than the Osmo Pocket 2, but yeah, there's the one inch. There's the one inch sensor right at the top of it. But my, my eyes are immediately drawn to this display right here, which is how you wake up the camera. So I don't know if it's got a charge on it, but let me try and flip this and see what happens. There you go. It's booting up. Oh, look what's going on. It does an initial setup to make sure that it can move the gimbal side to side and up and down. So it's checking all three uh, angles of movement. But there you go. Now it's asking me to program it. But, you know, again, I'm a little bit older. I'm not real old, but I'm a little bit older. And I can easily see the printing on that screen without any issue whatsoever. And then to turn it off, I'll flip it back and it'll say, do you want to power off? And it's powering off. Pretty cool. All right, so let me put the tripod on the bottom of this. <laughs> Boy, oh, I can't. I can't put the tripod on. I can't put the tripod on the bottom. You need to clip one of these guys on there. So, all right, let me do that. Don't break it, Rick. Geez, you haven't had a chance to play with it yet. All right, so that base goes on. I got a little quarter inch 20 on the bottom right there. I'll open up the tripod and bing, bang, boom, there you go. So here I am at my desk and I'm opening up the uh, display and I want to do a vlog. So I set it up in the desk. I've got the microphone clipped right here. It's got face tracking. It's Active Track 5.0, which is their latest version. It's wicked smart. So it'll, it'll focus on my face and I can move around a little bit, do my demonstrations. It's going to stay and keep me in the center of the frame. I'm telling you, this is a vlogging setup par excellence for anybody out there that wants to do YouTube videos and want to do TikTok videos, any kind of demonstration. You can't beat this. I mean, this is absolutely incredible because it's like having a, a run and gun setup 
that would be a couple of pounds on a stabilized gimbal normally in a tiny little camera like this. Now, as far as specifications go, I covered this already, but basically what you've got is a one inch sensor that can deliver 4K footage up to 60 frames a second. It can also do slow-mo up to 120 frames a second. It's got ActiveTrack 5.0 built in. It can do all kinds of advanced technology as far as the, uh, the video, uh, encapsulation, it's 10-bit D-Log M. So you've got you know really advanced functionality built into it. It can run 166 minutes on a full charge. You can charge it to 80% in about 15 minutes because of the PD charging. The, um, the imaging package inside there, in addition to the one-inch sensor, and this is really important, they've upgraded the imaging package so that the flow rate from that sensor back to the processor, 130 megabits a second, which is pretty impressive. And that's important because it's got to get the information off the sensor back to the processor to process that beautiful video footage. And they've built in all kinds of advanced functionality around HDR, around night view, and a bunch of other features that have really taken this to the next level. And in a lot of ways, I know I'm going to get yelled at for saying this, but what you've got here is a combination DSLR-like camera with a stabilized gimbal, again, in a package that, come on, this is about, I mean, Halloween was yesterday. This thing is about the same size as an average candy bar. I can slide this in my pocket, and I've got an entire vlogging setup right there in the palm of my hand. So I think this product is pretty incredible. Now, if you've uh, enjoyed this, Obviously, uh, we get a little commission from Amazon. Uh, if you link, click the links below, I've got a link below where you can go check it out on Amazon. You can check it out in the DJI website. Um, I love this kind of product. I love this kind of technology that takes whatever's out there today and takes it to the next level. And DJI, once again, has done a phenomenal job of upgrading a very popular product of theirs, the Pocket Series, with this Osmo Pocket 3. I can't wait to get outside and start testing it. And again, I'm going to do a lot more coverage of this product. I'll talk about all the features. I'll walk through the menus and give you a good idea of how you can use the product out in the field. But for me, this is one of the things that I take with me every day I leave the house. It's in my bag no matter where I go, and I use it consistently, and I think you're going to like it a lot. So that's all I really had for today. I can't wait to get outside and start using this. So until next time, as always, thanks again for watching and stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.